Alright, now we got Miss Gunslinger shooting. Miss Gunslinger enjoying the TX-22 <laughs> compact. Yep. Oh, we had a malfunction. Oh, it in chamber. Give it a slight tap. Slight tap. Like that, yep. And slap it inside. There you right. go. There you go. Again. Again. Oh, that, that was a. Check the primer. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with that? Is that normal? Check the primer. Or the rim. That was a nice ding right there. What's wrong with it right here? Does that look normal? Now I just load it up again. Okay. But the other way. What do you mean the other way? The ding goes in the bottom. Okay. Let's see if it'll, if it'll fire. <laughs> That's dope. That is dope. Yeah. It fired a. These a are easy to fix. <laughs> right. <laughs> so do you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's nice. What do you consider for self-defense? Yeah, even though it's twenty-two, I mean, at least I shoot them. So. I mean, put a little bit of holes inside someone's chest where they don't belong. You know. Yeah. Eventually they'll bleed out. Yeah, basically. And especially if you're using self-defense ammo. Yeah. All right. You want to shoot it again? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. All right. Let's load up a few more rounds. So what's up, you guys? Just this is what I did around that. I think it's seven yards, honestly. I'm not sure. I think it's five yards, probably. Five yards or so. That's what I did. It's not bad. I'm Miss Gunslinger's target. And this is just a little mag dump I did with one hand. But, yeah, you <laughs> That was accurate. Look at that. Dude. Yup. Shot placement. You'll get things done. All right, we're about, I say, 15 yards or so around there. Let's see what we can do with that little Taurus. So if you guys have stayed this long with the video, you know what I'm saying? No BS, just straight up shooting. Now we are that pretty far. My camera cannot zoom in to see the shots. I'll show you afterwards. But Miss Gunslinger is going to shoot. Oh. Again. <laughs> okay. It's just this. Okay. You got to load the magazines correctly, you guys. Or else it won't feed properly. I don't think Miss Gunslinger loaded the magazines correctly. Or that one, because I loaded this one. We'll see about the next one. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see how I loaded this magazine up or right, if I didn't load it correctly. Oh, we got a malfunction. You can't 
Okay, see that? Oh, dang. Well, I guess I didn't let them correct me. <laughs> or something. Or it might be getting dirty. Hmm. Oh, man. I guess you didn't load it right now. <laughs> nope, I didn't load it right. What the heck? Hmm. I don't know. That's weird, huh? Yeah. No. Nope. It's not, the slide's like not going back properly. Yeah. See, I'm always the one that messes these up. <laughs> okay. It's only been happening with you, Miss Gunslinger. I know. And I've been sh I was also shooting this one-handed and that hasn't happened to me yet. That's weird. All right, we're gonna let up a few more rounds and see what we can tell you about this awesome 22 Taurus. All right, guys, she's getting it. Extremely dirty, you guys. As you guys can see, we're going through a bunch of rounds. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna go through all of them because well, I'm gonna probably gonna shoot more off camera and stuff and see what happens. And if I catch anything, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, let's see what I can do. I don't know why Miss Gunslinger hasn't been, you know, the slide hasn't been reciprocating back as needed to eject the round. Let's see what happens with me. What are you doing wrong, this gunslinger? I don't know. Miss Gunslinger, I just went to two max without anything happening. You're limp resting it. So don't limp rest it, you guys. You gotta hold it tight. And she is getting dirty, like I said, you guys. You know? All right, I'm gonna load up two more magazines and I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on this pistol, you guys. But like I said, man, this pistol's freaking phenomenal. It works, it works, you guys. We've had like what two, two, two misfires, I guess, and then they, we put them back in the gun, and they went off. And we had like maybe four, five times, maybe six that Miss Gunslinger <laughs> didn't want to. Uh, how you say, uh, rechamber a new round or fail to chamber? I'm pretty sure that's a limp resting thing. The slide, I was noticing, if you guys can look on the footage, you guys, the slide wasn't reciprocating back properly. And that's why it, it was ejecting, but it wouldn't have enough power to chamber a new round. So, those of you guys with very weak hands, I don't know, man. I don't know. You gotta grip it like you mean it. All right.
I don't know, Miss Gunslinger. I don't know. Cause I, or, like I said, guys, when I hit the start stop, I'll have to tap it for my Walter PPQ 22 LR. It's already chambered, bruh. That's what I love to see. I don't know, you <laughs> I love this handgun. It's so phenomenal, you guys. I, guys, if you guys are gonna get a new handgun, get the new Torx TX22 Compact, you guys. It is an outstanding 22 firearm, you guys. But you gotta grip it nice and tight. Grip it nice and tight for your, for your slide to reciprocate property so you can chamber the next round. Miss Gunslinger, I don't think she was holding it tight enough to reciprocate the slide properly, so basically limp resting it. So yeah, you guys, one nice handgun. I'm American Mexican Gunslinger. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you around. Oh, it's so awesome. What's up guys, American Mexican Gunslinger. We're back from the range. I know that video was kind of long, you guys, but you guys were wondering what happened with those hiccups that the Taurus TX-22 happened. It got so gunked up and so dirty. I did bring oil with me that I mentioned on the video. And my son was shooting it and it kept jamming over and over. I put little drops of oil inside where the, where the firing pin goes inside. And in between the slots, let me show you guys. As you guys can see, I put the oil. She's all lubed up. You guys, I did put a few drops in there. It, it seems like a lot, honestly, but I only put a few. And she was up and running like a boss, you guys. And oh my gosh, those malfunctions stopped real quick, you guys. They, they did, I'm not going to lie. But she is dirty, you guys. I love this. Taurus TX-22, you guys. It's a freaking amazing pistol. I highly recommend it, you guys. If you guys are out in the market trying to look... Look how dirty it is. If you guys are out in the market trying to find a Taurus... Uh, a 22 handgun in general, I would suggest you picking this one up. Like I said, I'm going to pay 269 bucks for it. They retail around 309 you guys, on certain stores, which is a phenomenal deal, you guys. It's a really great freaking handgun. Like, it comes with a, a speed loader, which I think I should have used. And, of course, it comes with the threaded barrel adapter. And it comes with two 13-round magazines, you guys. So... And my final thoughts about this handgun is that it is freaking fantastic, you guys. She does get dirty a little bit fast, but we were shooting bulk ammunition. So that probably plays a little role upon like her having those few hiccups. But I do suggest that it is a freaking phenomenal handgun, you guys. It really is a great, you know, and it's right out of the box. It wasn't lubricated. I just straight up started shooting it. So that is fantastic, you guys. Some handguns, you'd be like, yo, you can't shoot it without the lubrication on it. And it'll just keep malfunctioning over and over and over again. I heard some horror stories of some, of some 22 handguns. And people even buying multiple 22 handguns of the same kind. And they just don't work. And, you know, I'm not going to mention some brands. But this freaking handgun is just phenomenal, you guys. It is phenomenal freaking fantastic and it already comes with the optics cut and like I said it does take the original Taurus TX magazines which is 16 rounds and I'm pretty sure that Taurus already is coming up with a new 20 round magazine so you can have more high capacity more high, more firepower you know and these 13 magazines just they're nice guys they come out nice and smooth you know what I'm saying my son seems to really love this handgun a little bit more than the than the 
the Walter PPQ. But he thinks it has a little bit more recoil than it, which I can understand why because the size of it compared to a four inch barrel, it's just it's just a night and day difference. That's a full size and this is a compact, you guys. And um, I'm pretty sure my wife wants to carry this handgun. As long as we keep her clean, she's gonna run reliably and if we put self-defense 22 ammunition, she's gonna run fantastic, you guys. Like, Dang, and then I got right here's a few targets right here, you guys. Check this one out that I shot. This was from seven yards, you guys. Look at this one. Oh, my bad. Check that out, you guys. Like, ooh, Illuminati. Ooh, the Masonic. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> but you guys, check that out. Like, you cannot tell me that is great, especially for seven, eight yards. Like, dude, that is fantastic. That is one accurate handgun, especially right out of the box. Like, you can't, like, come on, bro. Like, come on. And then this was our, our group right here. This one that I shot at 15 yards or so. I was all over the place. My wife, you know what? This is her side. This is my side, as you guys can tell. <laughs> but... Yeah, you guys, dude, she is accurate. She is accurate. If you do your part, if you probably add a red dot to this because you can't add a red dot to it, oh my goodness, guys. This thing is will be a bullseye plinker all day long, you guys. All day long. You know what I'm saying? And then this is my son's target right here. Well... Actually, let me see. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 this one is actually. This is actually my son's target. <laughs> so he did pretty well too, you guys. Like, this was me, of course. This side was me. But this is him right here. Like, he shot fantastic. And this was at seven, seven yards, you guys. So it wasn't far. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. We put all the ammunition through it, every single round. Right when I got off camera, my, me and my son were shooting, and we just went through all the ammunition. Guys, it, like I said, it did start malfunctioning a little bit more because it was getting gritty as heck, guys, because it was so dirty. We were just pumping those 22 rounds. We were at the range for like at least two hours, guys. Straight up shooting, you guys. Like, that is insanity. I have n We have never been that long out on the range, huh, babe? No. Nope. So it was, it was freaking fun. And once those malfunctions started happening with my son, I was just like, dude, this is some... This is bullshit. It was just working. Sorry about my cousin. But it was just working. You can stop. You can hear all... That's how dirty it is, you guys. But guess what? Once I just put those few drops of oil in it, it was back and running 100%, guys, flawlessly. I was so impressed. And my son was kind of limp it, and it was still shooting good. So I was just, like, tripping out, and I was shooting it one hand, and it was still working fantastic. But if you guys are going to buy this handgun, I suggest you guys have a little, a little bit of oil on you or oil it before you shoot it so you'll it will be a hundred percent flawless you guys like that's this gun's impressed me so much you guys like she is a beauty and she comes with an optics cut you guys she comes with an optics cut and she comes with the threaded barrel adapter so you can add a muzzle brake suppressor a washer a dryer a watermelon <laughs> you can add whatever you want to it you guys and it also has a rail for your flashlights you for your donkeys for your cats your dogs you know it has dude and the trigger is phenomenal oh my gosh I feel like this trigger is better than the Walter, you guys. It is fantastic. I love this 22 pistol. And I will consider it for self defense. For those of you guys who are looking for a 22 handgun for self defense, pick this baby up, dude. You will not be disappointed. For you guys trying to look for a 22 handgun for self defense, get this bad boy. Dude, oh my gosh. I have never been more impressed with a 22 handgun in my life. 
I've had a Breda Bobcat. It's failed me. My Walter PPQ Chamber 22 LR, it broke and it failed me. This guy, I don't think it's going to fail me anytime soon. I don't want to like jinx it, but dude, Taurus, you guys blew it right out of the park with the Taurus TX22 Compact. I can't wait to shoot more rounds through it. I'm going to probably put more videos and shorts with it. I can't wait. What do you think, Miss Gunsling? What did you do? What'd it's pretty you like? awesome. You liked it? Yeah, it's fun to shoot. Yeah, you guys. She's freaking fantastic. I'm probably going to buy some Taurus 16 round magazines after this. And, you know, I'm going to, right now, I'm going to go disassemble her since I haven't disassembled her. And I'm going to go clean her up and get her nice and and smooth and see if my wife wants to conceal carry this handgun. You know what I'm saying? She she can shoot really good with it. And I'm pretty sure we're not gonna wait three seconds every time to shoot a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? My baby's gonna probably gonna empty the whole 13 rounds on her reload and another 13 rounds just to make sure. Just to make <laughs> because sure. Because it is a 22, right? <laughs> 22s aren't dangerous. They can't put two-legged game down. Or assailants you know thank you guys for watching i'm american mexican gunslinger i'm telling you guys go pick up a taurus tx22 you will not be disappointed american mexican gunslinger approves this message thank you guys for <laughs> watching i'll see you around peace And this 15 round magazine seems to be working like a boss, guys.